Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, look who's back. So it's been a quite quite a while since it's uh, been on the channel. So I'm finally allowed to get back in it. And uh, yeah, I've been modifying a bit the last couple of days. So as you can see, it's got new shoes on it. Um, they're not brand new or anything, but uh, yeah, they're in in okay shape. So I've just been doing a few little things and stuff to it. So that's keeping me busy. But um. Yeah, as I said in a previous video, probably looking like November, I can get back into it full time and yeah, get stuck back into uh, what I've been doing the last couple of years with it. So just a couple of things I've uh, changed. So I took out the VE Commodore seats. I uh, wasn't a big fan of them, how low they sat and yeah, there just wasn't much um, adjustment to them. So yeah, I ditched them. Another thing I get asked a lot is the uh, fire extinguisher bracket. So it's from Scrub King. So I bought that a couple of months ago on their website. I think it's about 50 bucks or something. So yeah, it's, it's a little pricey, but yeah, if, if it saves your car, then why not, I guess. Another little thing I've done is, um, it's only taken me two years, but I put a GME magnetic mount on the back of it. I was uh, sick of being over there and having to unclip it. So yeah, it just, it's on a magnet. So it's a lot easier to uh, handle and it's, it was a pain in the ass before. Uh, another another thing I've added is um, Mazda 2 or Mazda 3, I can't remember. Well, I'll, I'll link it down below anyway where I got them. I'll change them. Uh, they went straight in pretty much. I just had to cut a few mils off the end and yeah, they went in. So the second set I bought. Another another set I bought. Uh, the wrong ones. So I was lucky this time. So. Yeah, it's changed the, changed the look a bit. So, if you haven't uh, checked out the channel before, um, I have two more behind the uh, behind the seat. So, yeah, you can never have too many uh, fire extinguishers. So, as you can see, it's uh, needs a vacuum and whatnot. But yeah, it's been sitting for a couple of months, so can't expect too much. So, yeah, it's, it's still got a. A heap of stuff I want to do, like I've got a cooling system upgrade, so new uh, three core aluminium radiator to put in, uh, new new fan and, and uh, clutch fan thingy, whatever it's called, and yeah, I'm gonna do the uh, timing belt and everything at the same time. Well, I got all that out. Still in another twenty thousand anyway, so rather than put it all in and then um, have to rip it all out again to do the uh, water pump and the belts and everything. I'll, uh, I'll just do it all at once and uh, yeah also got a, a bigger intercooler coming for it oh, I don't have it coming it's uh, in the garage I should say but um, yeah I'll whack that in and hopefully it helps a bit just stuff like this I've uh, got to change like that that's coming off and yeah but um, yeah, I'll get back into it now as I said it's been sit for the last couple of months so yeah, it's just yeah, and has a good detail and whatnot, so it's stuck into it and uh, yeah, enjoy uh, life again some someday down the track, hopefully. So if you haven't already, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll uh, catch you in the next one.